are you measuring the correct key metrics? Key metrics for your website or your income, your subscribers are very, very important. And you should have a, a bunch of key numbers that you look at on a daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly basis. And a lot of your goals should be based on measuring these metrics. But have you thought about why you're measuring them and, and which ones and what they mean to you? So let me explain. The One of the more popular things with, with online, with websites to measure are the number uh, of visitors or, or traffic or page views, which is all based on the number of people who come through and look at your website. But for most traffic numbers actually means nothing unless they are taking action. The traffic, people coming and looking and reading your content doesn't help you in any way unless you convert them into some kind of get them onto a list uh, sell them something so those are the numbers you need to be measuring not the actual visitor numbers and of course we promote targeted traffic you should be very very careful at the type of people that you wish to come and read your website uh, you should craft that very carefully and then you get better quality Certain measurements that you may wish to know are things like if you sell, you've got obviously number of sales, the conversion rate, which is for, so for every 100 visitors to your site, if say two people buy something, that's a 2% conversion rate. That is important because moving that moves the needle greatly. Other ones are average order value. Of course, if those two people spend 100 pounds, on average, if you could get it up to 150 pounds, then that adds, for those two people, that adds a 50% increase to your overall. Very important. The lifetime value. How often are they going to buy? How long are they gonna stay a customer? If, if it's a membership site, what's the average uh, member uh, membership time, uh, being a member, sorry. Uh, so, for example, if they join up in month one but don't renew for month two, perhaps you want to consider offering a deal for a three-month membership or a six or twelve to encourage them to be there longer to uh, learn more of what you've got to say and, and to fully appreciate what you've got to offer. But other, other metrics that I see people talking about are number of Twitter followers, number of Facebook likes. These mean nothing. These are just to get people to promote your uh, content to or to pull them in to read your blog and to take an action. It's the action that people take that converts into money. That's what you need to be measuring. Do not get caught up on numbers. Someone can have oh, 10, 50,000 Twitter followers. If they do nothing, don't have any engagement, what use is it? People talk about clout scores. How does that convert into money? All these things can be manipulated and bought. It is not important. Consider them carefully. Measure them carefully. It's Wednesday. Time for a friendly follow. Talking of Twitter. And today we're going to talk about a little, a little craft beer and food uh, bar in Houston, Texas. And their Twitter handle is Hey Merchant, as in H A Y the stuff that horses eat. The reason I like them is because, not because they're, they're the world's greatest, I mean, uh, a way to improve. They don't seem to follow back so many of their customers, so they tend to be talking out, not listening in, which is not always a good thing. But they put out good information, they use it well, they're a bar, so they talk about when they've got a special new beer on, they've got a special new food menu item, and they send it out to their followers. Uh, the last time I looked, they've got about 11,000 followers. So people are listening and people do retweet and people do favorite things. They do seem to get the engagement. So they, if you're a restaurant, a bar, something like that, then it's well worth a look at Hay Merchant to, to see how they do it and see if there's something you can learn from that. Now, I'm going to ask, are you subscribed on iTunes? Do you use Stitcher? This is on Stitcher too. Please subscribe. Please let me know what you think by giving a review. That helps the show. It helps more people to get to see the show. And it puts a big smile on my face. See you soon.